record today's cup of coffee with Scream. Oh. <laughs> Every oh. day is a new variety of Scream. Um, this is... Uh, what the fuck? What kind of acid juice have we drank? I think that we have been transported to the upside down. I really do. It feels like mm-hmm. it. It does. And that Vecna is possessing people. Yeah. <sighs> It's just, I mean, it, it is what it is. Forces of darkness do that. They're very opportunistic. Oh, I whatever. Know. And this is part of the birthing process? I, it's something. It's something. It is September 15th, 2024, as we record this. Uh-huh. <sighs> yeah, more it CMEs. Feels... My spine. The Your CMEs spine. and the geomagnetic storms is affecting my spine. It's been affecting your spine. It's affecting my mind. Oh, everybody's mind. Yeah. And and that's the reason that uh, when people, that they may not have heard about the geomagnetic storms, and I try to reference them back to Stefan Burns mm-hmm. and the potatoes. The you know, lovely because potatoes. I see people on X. It's like, I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't stop crying. I can't sleep. I've got this. I've got this. Yeah. And to sit there and go look in to see if it's about the geomagnetic storm. Because it very well could be. There's lots of people. See, when people share things in the comments, it can be beneficial. Mm-hmm. Now, you've always got somebody that's going to be an asshat in a comment. Always. <sighs> Always. Let me tell you where I have there's found. All, huh? Go ahead. There's, I have found some of the worst comments on the internet on some of these places that are supposed to be Christian. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, what is wrong with you people? You all obviously did not read the book. Yeah. Like, seriously... Everything that people have been talking about, like why, seriously, why Christians get a bad rap? They've earned it. it. That's it, right there. This is why you will. And not that shit hear that us. God God talks against. Yes, yes. This is why that you very rarely will you hear me use the term Christian with myself. I'm a follower of Christ. I'm a believer. But as far as doing what these religious things and all that, I, no, I don't want none of that. None of it. Nope. I don't want to be associated with it. Because when you've got people, and, and as far as, especially if somebody is newly converted to the faith, mm-hmm. that's when you're supposed to help that person, support them and in whatever way that you can but that you've got some of these people going, oh, well, they're a disinformation agent, and they're in this and that. And I'm thinking, you an idiot. Flat out, you're an idiot. You don't <laughs> know what's in that person's heart. Yeah. And I take that where it says, judge not, lest you be judged by the same judgment. I take that seriously. Mm-hmm. I truly do. So, we got that. There was another uh, alleged assassination attempt on Trump today. Yeah. Golf I mean, course. Yeah. And and it's like there's been people, lots of people encouraging that. Uh, Whipping people up into a frenzy to try to do some of these things. These, these are dog whistles. These are some of the things that people are paying attention. Yeah. Because when you've got people that are brainwashed, and mm-hmm. that's there's lots of them, and it's horrifying. We are truly living in perilous times. It's just brain breaking. Talk it is. about brain breaking. It is. And so it's a matter of sometimes you have to reel it back. Even as far as your family, your own self, see what, if you've got situations going on in your world, as far as I'm going through, I think it's, what is that, Saturn return thing or something like that, some other realm of hell. 
Yeah. It's all realms of hell. Mm -hmm. But to be very introspective, and I've always been an introspective person just by nature, to sit there and go, okay, I am the common denominator within these situations. What part have I played? Have I brought harm? Have I brought good? What can I do to correct my course, hoping that it will help other people correct their course? Right. <coughs> Because that's what you're supposed to do. Yes. That is what you're supposed to do. And it's hard. Even though you're doing everything that you can and shit's still going sideways. Mm -hmm. And that's where you just gotta hold on. Yeah. Because sometimes when shit's going sideways, it has nothing to do with like no. anything you did. Right. It has right. nothing to do with you in the slightest. Shit's just going wonky. Yeah. And, and it's it's a matter of just trying to encourage yourself, finding things. I actually found some um, inspirational things that was based on C.S. Lewis mm -hmm. this morning that were very beneficial to me. The author very, very of Lion, healing. the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Mere Christianity. Mm -hmm. His story is fascinating. Yeah. It truly is. And the story that we're going to discuss is not fascinating. It's another horrifying thing. <laughs> And uh, Kid was telling me something the other day about people eating dirt. And yeah. I thought, well, that's a, yeah, that that happens from time to time. Uh -huh. and it's like, if, hmm, that's Pika. Anybody Even that's the video ever, I was watching, it's like, huh, she was like, well, that's one reason, Pika. Yeah, anybody, I read The Good Earth by Pearl S. Buck. I think it's an S. When I was in high school, I did a book report on it. It made an impression on me it's greatly. <laughs> if you've never read The Good Earth, I urge you to read it. Yeah. And these people, oh God, this is from Daily Mail and is by John Ely or Eli. I'm not sure exactly which way he pro he pronounces that. And it was September the 15th, 2024. A bizarre trend for eating dirt takes TikTok by storm. As advocates say, it keeps them wrinkle-free and fights tummy troubles. Are you sure about that? Or are you just hoping that it does? Is this like one of those uh, placebo effects? Uh, thing? And, and apparently that there have, according to the article... That there's places on Etsy and eBay, 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 <laughs> that's selling different geological detritus for human consumption. Um, and now it's as far as chalk and clay and uh -huh. different things like that, and the clinical term is geophagy which is eating dirt and clays and chalks because like you said uh, pica yeah that or starvation yeah pica now, starvation yeah either way you're going to be eating dirt but yeah and, and it says th that just get a potato yeah really get a root vegetable eat the things that grow in the dirt yeah is this i mean Health aside. And, and it said that uh, traditionally it was seen as a way to ingest trace minerals. But also, you got to know where your dirt comes from. Yes. Because there's things that live in the soil that are not to be consumed. There's things that live in the soil that may have parasites in them. Uh-huh. Exactly. Tapeworms. All kinds of things, especially for if you've got animals anywhere around. Hence why you're supposed to wash your food. Yeah, why you wash the dirt off before eating the yeah. potatoes. Yeah. I mean, oh. all the vitamins and shit that you're looking for right. is right there in the skin of the potato, right there in the rutabaga. Get you a turnip. And as far as they, they did Radish. mention as far as um, kaolin, which is a type of clay that can be used to absorb toxins and help them pass out of the body. 
okay, activated charcoal can be used to, you know, as far as certain poison. Check with a qualified whoever. We're not telling anybody to do anything medical, okay? Because you can't, can't because, like, activated charcoal be a purgative too? Um, not sure. Epicac certainly is a purgative. Yeah, I don't know. Castor oil is a purgative. Yeah. It just, but it's one of those. If you've got any kind of suspected poisoning, how poison control? That's their job. When I was at EMT, they said as far as if it burns going down, it will burn coming back up. So mm -hmm. that's why you don't induce vomiting with certain toxins. Right. <sighs> and but as far as, and I guess Tom's. Is calcium, which calcium could be sort of kind of considered chalk. I guess it could be, yeah. So it depends on what it is. Before you try any trend on TikTok, figure out what the hell they're talking about. Literally. Like, actually do the research. Be like, okay, is this safe? Is this really good for my health? Right. Don't go off those just bogus bullshit articles right absolutely you have to or do blog your research posts. you have to do your research now there is it's called diatomish diatomish earth i can't pronounce it d-e it's d-e and as far as you can actually buy that in like a feed store there is a um there is food grade version of it that people that you can consume as and it's as far as ridding yourself of parasites yeah people are so scared shitless about parasites these days usually if somebody has a parasite they know it they know it there's key things pinworms pinworms indeed Pinworms. Tapeworms. If somebody is eating and is hungry all the time and keeps losing weight and losing weight and losing weight, they damn they well could worm. have a tapeworm. That's characteristic of that. And it's like pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds can help get rid of parasites. And they're tasty. Yeah. You can get the, you can order the raw ones. Some people toast them. We're coming up on pumpkin seed time. Loves you know? It. Yeah. And I think on a lot do of a it. a lot of things with pumpkin seeds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, I love pumpkin seeds. I get, put they, them in they salads. They're good for me and they're good for the prostate. You can put them in salads. Oh, Yeah. Pumpkin seeds, some raw pumpkin seeds, some raw um, sunflower seeds on a salad. That's some tasty stuff right there. Mm -hmm. You can just sit and munch on those, but throw a few raisins in with them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make your own trail mix. You know what's in it. Get from, from good people and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And on some of this stuff that you order online, you have to be really careful where these things are coming from. Because some of these things may be contaminated. And they were talking about as far as the pica, which is a trace mineral deficiency. Mm -hmm. And it makes people crave non-food items like dirt and ice and paint chips and stuff like that. Yeah. And so if, you, if you're... Licking having, the bars on the bed frame. Huh? Licking the bars on the bed frame. That was an iron deficiency because they were iron bed rails as a small child. And those are the most delicious things in the world you cannot even imagine. Was it that black bed frame that went like an arch? Oh, no, honey. That was many, many years ago. Because now that one I, I would lick. <laughs> <laughs> I would lick that one. But it was anemic. How truly I like the way that it tasted. I like the way that it tasted. I was just... Uh, you can uh, actually get bottles uh, of trace minerals. You can buy these at a health food store <laughs> from reliable places. Uh, you know, I, I mean, honestly, and they have recently had a warning about spices. From Which certain, spices? Um, I don't remember. I know cinnamon was one of them from certain 
vendors that mm-hmm. contained lead. What? Rather high concentrations of lead. Now, I don't know how much of the spice you would have had to have consumed, but any of these heavy metals, they accumulate in your body. Yeah. So it's not a bad thing to do a cleanse every now and then. Now, that activated charcoal does get rid of... It helps with heavy metal poisoning, does I it? think. Yeah. Now, I actually did a chelation thing, but I also checked with my pharmacist before I did any of that stuff. Because even when you're trying to do a cleanse, if you don't know what you're doing, you can you can do damage to yourself. And yeah. when you when it truly starts... Bringing stuff out, you feel like hell because you truly are having a healing crisis. Uh huh. Loves it. Yeah. But if you're craving non food items like dirt, seriously, Iron go, bars. Go, get, go get you some blood work, get you some lab work done. Damn, that bed frame tasted, <laughs> tasted wonderful, though. I loved it. I would just sit oh there and sometimes my press God. my teeth up against it. Just, like, but it is man. just in, insane that people would do this. And, and I told kid, I think what it is that you have so many people that feel unhealthy, unwell, and that they're desperate and they're willing to try just about anything to try to make themselves feel better, mm-hmm. which is really tragic. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. But now, as far as the TikTok and thing and, and stuff like that, and uh, they had in here that there was a TikTok trend, which uh, was called chromine. What's it's chromine? Sort of like huffing. Most people have got enough damn sense. Don't spray anything in a bag and, and breathe it in. That's stupid. What are the... Um, what, perfume. What? This kid had done this with deodorant, and I think he died. Yeah. Let me guess. No, was... he didn't die. It said he was left fighting for his life. Okay, now they have used that left fighting for his life very loosely. In what way left fighting for his life? The... Now, like let's brain face damage? It, I, who knows? You're not supposed to be breathing in aerosols. And and it's like, have we thwarted natural selection? That's a good thing about perfumes or colognes. They're not aerosols. <sighs> you can huff those all day and not no brain damage. And why do you have children that are always wanting to get high? I mean, seriously, is it just that they don't, that they're Uh, bored? There's plenty of things that they can do to occupy their time if they're shown. No, a lot of the time they just flat out want to clock out from the horrors of the world right now. Well, again, that's tragedy. And, and, you know, somebody needs to do something to encourage these young people. Yeah. And then it said something that there was a cucumber trend. Uh, that where people were consuming vast quantities of cucumbers. If you consume vast quantities of anything, it's going to have a negative effect. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Do we have to tell people? I, I don't even know. I, I think, right. I think good... your brain's damn brain damaged. I really do. I mean, it was literally that. It's that old saying, too much of a good thing is a bad thing. Yes. Yes. That's just like humans are omnivores. Yes. And, and we've got this trend now. We, we've had the. And, and let me tell you something. As somebody who has struggled with weight, I have tried every fucking thing out there. And it's like, you've always got these people, why don't you and why don't you and why do you you need to? And and honestly, if people knew what I ate in a day, they would be shocked. Because it's not much. No. But they always want to sit there and I go, it's because of you and it's because. And it's like, fuck you, you don't know me. You don't know my situation. I've got some kind of something going on that nobody can figure out. 
That's true of a lot of people. And God bless Bobby Kennedy that's out there telling people that these people have, that we've been poisoned. Yeah. We've been poisoned for decades. Mm-hmm. And our bodies are not working the way they're supposed to because we're poisoned. Mm-hmm. <sighs> and these other people, they don't know, they have no clue. And again, the judging. They want to look at somebody and go, oh, well, I automatically know everything about you because that I, I see you. I'm, you don't know shit about me. Can't judge a book on its cover. Right. But the fact that I have enough sense not to do stupid shit usually. Yeah. But we're omnivores. Mm -hmm. And I understand that there are people that are having weird health things right now to where all they can eat is meat. That's some kind of poisoning also. It is. It is. Because that's not normal. And then you've got people that they get these damn tick bites and they can't eat red meat. Yeah. Which is horrific. Uh Uh-huh. It causes some sort of autoimmune disorder where they can, like, it, it can almost kill them. Mm Mm-hmm. And honestly, we have no idea. And the vegan's still screaming at those people being like, oh, you're bad for eating the meat. It's Mm -hmm. like, literally, if I do not eat meat, I will die. Mm Mm-hmm. I think everybody ought to stay in their own lane as far as any of that stuff. Do what works for them. Listen to their body. Yeah. Try to be gentle when the body does not do what you want it to do. That's what I have problems with. Mm-hmm. Because that was one of the basis of studying martial arts and some of the things I've studied over the years is to overcome the body. And maybe the body <laughs> has got to the point. It's like, now you, you have ignored me for many, many years. Maybe. You have abused me for many, many years. I don't think that's... You know. Because, let's face it, I have done work that uh, was... I I did it. Am I paying the price for it now? Quite possibly. I think everybody does. It's lifting things that you really shouldn't be lifting. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Just... it's, It's life. You pick your poison. And some of these poisons I didn't pick. But at least I'm not out here with a spoon and, and pot and soil. Yeah. Other yeah. than the challenge that time that I was drinking. But anyhow. We'll not talk about that. Spoon, pot, and soil. <laughs> and did you, were you eating it straight out of the flower pot? We'll not talk about that. You decided to take the flowers' food. This is why I don't drink very often. <laughs> and I do not drink to excess. Who does? Because most of the truly, ridiculously stupid things I have ever done usually involved alcohol. Hmm. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this is why I try to warn other people. I'm an example of what not to do. Yeah. Yeah. But on these TikTok trends, and I know that our listeners are, we don't have to worry about them because our listeners are not the stupid people. The stupid people may listen to part of an episode and then they go away because they can't deal with it. No, because some of them find people using higher, I don't do this, you do this, higher level of, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, English. <laughs> <laughs> they speak words. They speak words. Uh-huh. It's they like speak the... big words. <laughs> <laughs> big words. <laughs> But okay. some of our some of our people we know that maybe <clears throat> because everybody knows other people, mm-hmm. and that they could sit there and they could go, "Hey, did you hear Orlando? This talking about there's a trend these people be eating dirt." And to share that, we don't know that other people are not going to share this knowledge. Just sit there and go and look this up because the, the link will be in the description box. Mm-hmm. 
just the ridiculousness. You know, the Tide Pod thing, that was just the beginning. And that, that was, was just the beginning, <laughs> and that was forever ago. And that was tame. That was tame. Most people have. We had, we honestly, we made a video years ago. Don't eat laundry soap. Yeah. Don't eat any kind of soap. Yeah. That used to be a punishment. If you said bad words and they would threaten you, I'm going to wash your mouth out with soap. See, no joke. It started like with the eating Tide Pods. It was a joke at first. It was like, oh, yeah, these look so delicious like candy. Let's see that. I would oh, love, I want to eat them. Just a, thinking about it. And then people decided to actually do it. And then decided to make a challenge of it. Mm. And again, natural selection. This is how this happens. And anybody who would have a kid and let them use the internet, cell phone, anything like that without checking to see what they're watching, listening to, any of that stuff, the parent needs to, you know, somebody needs to sit there and go, hey, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. And thanks to them, we no longer have the original flavor. <laughs> It's like, I, I mean, now what they're doing, and instead of these people taking responsibility and going, you know what, I'm a dumbass, they're blaming these companies. And now the companies are having to make these containers and telling people, put the shit up to where your small child can't reach it. That's not the job. That company's job is to make fucking soap. Mm -hmm. To get the grime out of your clothes. Mm -hmm. Of course, if you're eating the dirt, maybe you want to sit there and suck on a sweat sock. I don't know. No, people just like the smells. Oh, God. I just this planet. Oh. They oh, like the it makes my hair hurt. I do like a good fabric softener. Oh, God. I do. It makes the... It makes the Bed sheets feel nice. It mm -hmm. makes the clothing feel nice, and it makes it smell nice. Mm -hmm. I, I, I have just, to use that separately from you. Yes, you do because I, I I'm allergic to any of the scented stuff. Have been for many many years. Yeah. This is why even the perfumes I do the essential oils because the other ones put me into a spasmodic sneezing fit. I'm just not this planet. I don't know how in the hell. Maybe I just got routed to the wrong place i don't know I, final thoughts I, no, on we're that. all here intentionally oh god it's those damn masochistic tendencies of mine we Anyhow, got put into a room and was told exactly what's happening i i don't know don't remember that conversation and i want to have i want to be reminded <laughs> why am i here i need that mm -hmm. final thoughts kid don't do stupid don't do stupid. Yeah. And stop the people from doing stupid. You can't. I don't know that we should stop them. Let them Actually, do the stupid. Know, and, uh, listen, you if, know. It's about, if it's the stupid that's about to... Well, let them do it. Let them do it. I, I mean, you know, like I said, it's those parasites that lives in soul. They really are. There's um, if they're of. foolish enough to do it just at that point. It's, yeah, it's better just to let them do it then. Let, let natural selection take its take its natural course. That's why it's supposed to be there. If you've had experiences with paranormal or supernatural encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, tinfoil hats, mm -hmm. if you have tales of the stupid that you would like to share with all of us, put that in the comment section. That or you can put and send us an email. I will eventually. I will eventually get to the emails. That is cup of coffee with scream at gmail dot com. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <sighs> Check her out on BitChute, Rumble, YouTube, Orlando, Orlando's cup of coffee with scream. Check her out on X, previously known as Twitter. Orlando C O C W S. Oh, thank you all. Have a good. This world is. Yeah. I, listen, I do enjoy a good amount of stupid once in a while, but this is this is beyond. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm it really is. It's it's gone from the sublime to the absurd 
at breakneck speed. Anyhow, know it, that it, you... What? Whiplash. It yeah. gives you whiplash. It does. I think that's a reason that a lot of people are experiencing some vertigo and or dizziness. I think everything is just making our, our heads real. Yeah. I truly do. Know that you are loved. Treat other people the way that you would like to be treated. And Lord willing, we'll see you on the next cup. Mm-hmm. Bye. Bye.